telling you, when the lights go off, this place is going to kick off. Get out! Come get out! Don't leave me! Don't leave me! Whatever it was, came from nowhere. I cannot tell you the fear I've got in me at this present moment. <laughs> to a place that's no stranger to us. This ancient building never ceases to amaze me with the constant paranormal activity. This time, we're ready for the Old Hall, Tatton Park. A nemesis for most haunted, and a location that is truly steeped in history. This building sits within the magnificent grounds of Tatton Hall and stands near the disappeared Tatton village. The site is a scheduled ancient monument that receives thousands of visitors each year. The house was built in the 15th century and the Great Hall was the original room at the time. Sir Thomas Edgerton, Lord Chancellor of England, owned the property from 1585, where he then commissioned the rest of the house to be built. The building has remained in the family up until 1958. Many different families have lived in the house, most of them employed by the main hall. Each family had their own stories to tell, and some of them refused to leave. The ghost of a man known locally as Tom has made himself known to many people. Guests and staff have reported a strangling sensation and a growling noise in the main hall. Poltergeist activity is rife and the ghost of an unknown woman has been seen on many occasions. We have never had confirmation of who truly haunts here, but maybe tonight we would. I'm sitting in the main hall, which is the original part of the building and dates back to 1490. But it's what haunts this particular part of the building that intrigues and frightens me. Visitors and staff report a strangling sensation and a guttural growling noise in their ear. A very nasty, evil entity resides in this place, but who are they? And why do they continually, violently haunt this part of the building? Victorian dining room, the paranormal activity can be terrifying. Loud knocking noises and an intense feeling that something or someone is breathing right down your neck. Knocking sounds have been heard in the 1950s room. The kitchen area and the corridor is where poltergeist activity occurs regularly. The main hall has a horror all of its own. Bearing all this in mind, this floor would be enough for most investigators, but for us, it's just the beginning. In total contrast to the rest of the hall, the upper floors have a totally different feeling. The rooms are bare and the atmosphere chilling. Loud knocking noises, footsteps, whistling are often heard when the rest of the building is totally silent. A reliable eyewitness is key to investigating any haunted location, and Mick Ricketts is no exception. A steward that has been looking after the old hall for many years has witnessed his fair share of strange happenings. I think the most interesting and perhaps the most active room is the room that we're in. We've just had proof that the camera's gone down, the battery which should last for three days has gone down as well. Uh, it's one of my favourite rooms as well, so perhaps uh, Eleanor's sort of playing with us a bit. Um, the Great Hall can be very active in a very earthy, dark way as well. 
Uh, and there have been tales of a man with a big beard, smelling of beer and body odour, coming up to mediums and saying, get out, get out. So perhaps the, the Great Hall might be one of the, the most active rooms. If you want something a little bit more gentle, then perhaps the 1940s, 50s rooms might help because uh, there are people who live in there, the last person to leave left in 1960, and you get the idea of quite domestic harmonies. So you've got this sort of uh, ambivalence, haven't you? You've got the dark side of the hall, and we've got the nice family light side. A very negative entity resides at the Old Hall, and in the past we have only guessed at whom it could be. Could demonologist Fred Bat unveil the dark spirit that has terrified so many people? The building is said to be haunted by a number of female spirits, but there is also a male entity, a very powerful one, called Tom, who at one time was a poacher but ended up here as a gamekeeper. Very violent person, was violent to his wife and then drank himself into an early grave. Whether Tom's his real name, we don't know, but it's what people refer to him as. One particular dark entity is said to attack women when they come into this building. Many have said they felt a rope gradually tightening around their neck as though it's being pulled by someone behind them. My nerves were already showing, as in the past, my experiences with the old hall had given me many sleepless nights. So I was pleased that skeptic Glenn Hunt was on hand to try to dispel my fears. Now, Glenn, it's no secret. I have said many times, this has to be, in my opinion, one of the most haunted locations I've ever investigated. I've been here four times, it always delivers, and I'm sure it's going to deliver tonight. I am very nervous already about investigating tonight. I just think it's just going to be as lively as ever. Well, I've got a bit of a bone to pick with you, actually. Eva. The mm. fact that you've been here so many times before and you're coming here again tonight and you're saying that you're still scared, automatically it's putting you in the frame of mind to expect certain things to happen. And I think you're going to have to dismiss everything that's gone before and look at it with a fresh pair of eyes. If I experience any of those things that you've experienced, then that could quite possibly change my mind. But at the moment, they're only your experiences, so we'll have to wait and see. But there could be a perfectly rational explanation for any of these things. You know, it's, it's, it's in a very old location. It's a very old house. I mean, you even have to look at it from the outside. It lends itself to look like a haunted house. And when you go around the rooms, they're all set up from different eras. There's a 1940s room. There's a 1950s room as well. There's this great hall. It's, if you're in these rooms in the dark, it's automatically setting your mind up to assume that you're in some kind of portal. You're, you're in a, a time of the past. And it could play tricks with your mind. So it doesn't necessarily have to be paranormal things that are going on but just things that your mind are imagining are going on. It's very interesting because you have witnesses that work here that are experienced strange phenomena. I mean what do you think about this particular room here where where people are experiencing this this strangling sensation? Well this is a very famous location as it turns out. You only have to type in onto the internet Tatton Hall and, and it, it comes up on reams and reams of information about what people have heard or experienced and, and then you read that, do you believe it, and then you go into the location, you start to automatically assume this is going to be happening to you as well. I've purposefully not looked at any information about this location tonight, so anything that does happen, and it might tally with something that's happened before, then I will find that interesting. But at the moment, it could be just a self-perpetuating thing that happens in the mind. In my mind, this place is haunted. OK, but it can't be that bad, otherwise you wouldn't keep coming back. I'm intrigued. I'm terrified, but I'm intrigued. So am I. I can't wait for... The first time you scream, I hope <laughs> we get it on camera. <laughs> the night had drawn in and the building had dropped dramatically in temperature. We were ready to take our group walk around, with Eamon Van Harris monitoring any EVP we may get. The rest of us started in the Victorian parlour. When we come, in, come into this room, this to me is, you know, a fantastic room, but at the same time, terrifying. I'm going off my experiences that I've had in this room in the past. To me, it's creepy, it's eerie, it's, 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 the atmosphere is horrendous to me. It's like all the hairs on the back of my neck have gone vroom, I can't bear it in here. I, I can't explain it to you, it's a weird... What happened to you in here before? 
Oh, uh, poltergeist activity, uh, things being thrown, but with, with such force, stones, but big, big stones, coins, you know, so cutlery, really strange. Yeah. And the loud, not just tapping, knocking, mm. but like somebody had got a big jackhammer and was smacking it against the wall. And it was terrifying to the point where um, we, it, it wasn't an investigation we were doing. And one of the... What was Whoa. that? I heard it. That was... That just made me jump. That, yeah. I that saw was, you jump. That was really weird. See, it's starting. It's starting. I'm telling there's, you. It's... There's nobody else in this area at all. This is just... Yeah, yeah, sure. I was about to say it's quite a confined space, but there's, there's three doors. There's nothing to stop anybody accidentally knocking anything, and there's no reason why, you know, something couldn't yeah, have been knocked behind the team oh, there. So. No. So um, it could have been an accidental nudge of something. <sighs> You seem quite... Um, because I don't... This, this, this whole atmosphere. Yeah. yeah. I'm telling you, when the lights go off, this place is going to kick mm. off. I've seen it before. <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. Did anybody trip over anything there? Right. Well, they, yeah. we were all here. Yeah. What was that? We're, oh, yeah, we're all this yeah. side of this. Yeah. And that, and something that. happened down there. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Oh, Let's go through there. Well, right. Look at this, that's freezing cold. Look at, look what at is this, Pass that over. That's what, that's what was either thrown or fell, but... Oh, yeah, that's freezing cold, so it's not like anybody had this in their hand, I suppose, but... Yeah, but I saw Sorry, everybody but... was here. Yeah. Everybody was here. We're all accounted for. That's the second thing that's thrown from down here. Right. Should we kind of walk in through? Yeah, yeah, yeah we'll put that back definitely. on the shelf and see. OK. Yeah. Well, I think also, when you've got things dressed up to the period, it makes things more active. Yes. It's like you've had a couple of places out before when you've actually dressed up yeah. in uniform, and, and that, I think that makes things a lot more active. Well, they do a lot of reenactments here as well, so they right. have a lot of people dressing up, and you're quite right. Mm. And, and, and you know, when they do the battle reenactments, a lot of the soldiers. <gasps> that's Did you see that? No, it always seems to be happening when I'm not looking, oh and that's God. the frustrating yeah, thing. there, and it's hitting right in the back. <laughs> yeah, there's, there. there's nobody there. No one it's there. a different one. Can I just see if there's anybody through there? Just yeah, go it's a bit for, it. for the for the sake of it. Excuse me. Let's have a look over it. Just, just, just pull it in. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I Where would that have come from, innit? Yeah. Well, I think it's going to get really interesting here tonight. Jeez. What did you find? Uh, well, we just went into the other room there and uh, we could see through to the Great Hall where Eamon's doing his EVP with his headphones on, so we can rule Eamon out from uh, being in there. And one thing I did find in there, it's very easy to hear footsteps whilst you're walking yeah. around, so uh, there were no footsteps, there was nobody in the room. So, as it... whatever it was came from nowhere. I've never experienced anything in this particular part of the building, but other people have. I know Carl and Stuart in the past have had things happen to them. Um, so... so... This is meant to be a 1950s yeah, period, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's interesting. Like you say, it's, it, it's dressed... There's, there's an air of anticipation in this room, but again, like all the others... Listen. Hello. How are you? Do you remember me? You do. That's good. Ah, uh, um, yeah. Are you? Um, can we all hear this? I can hear it. I'm trying to work out where it's coming from. It is. Yeah, yeah. How many of you don't want us here? Four. four. There are four of you who don't want us here. Four again. Four again. So, are uh, the four of you that don't want us here, are you going to do your damnedest to get us out? Well, bring it on. Yeah, and you. <laughs> that was a big mistake to make. OK, let's move on. Now, allegedly, a, a lot of people don't like this room. There's supposed to be the spirit of a, 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 a woman who stands at the window. She's been seen many times, a lady in white. OK. And she's looking out the window, waiting for somebody to... What? Finish the knitting. Finish the knitting. Uh, waiting for something or someone. OK. Um, I was going to say, you know, there's a lot of reports about there being a negative energy here mm. uh, in, in the main hall, this growling in the ear. <clears throat> And, and throughout the whole building, you being a demonologist, do you... That was 
right under me. Go and see no, where I was. That. It's right under me. There on the floor behind you, um, Greg. There I go. That was, um... It's like a... That, that, that landed right underneath there, underneath the, the bench that I was standing this on. It rolled really dark, underneath. I think it sucks. Where did that come from? Does it come from in here? It always seems to be come, it just happens behind us, doesn't it? There's no, nobody. There is no one on this floor whatsoever. Eamon is downstairs and has been sitting there still with his earphones on. I've just ran straight to the top of the stairs. I've looked in all the rooms. No one is on this floor except for us. Okay. And that's come from this, this, this way. Um, well, that, this is, we're getting a lot of this. I think we'll get a lot more knocking. Definitely. To say this is the room which most people don't like, it feels like the, the most homely, but again, I don't know that's the way it's set out with all the, uh, the artefacts and everything. It just seems quite like a normal room. It doesn't yeah. seem anything difficult about it. No, I know. There's nothing. It's, it's the older part of the building, so you're going to get a lot more activity than you would in the Victorian part we were in. So up here, you probably get a lot more happening. Yeah? Okay, let's go. Okay. Do you know how I've been keeping track of um, all the voices and activity? Yeah. I'm going through before. Um, when I was testing the equipment to see if everything was working, um, uh, do you know what? I'll play it to you three times. Have a listen to this. Okay. This is me testing the equipment. Okay. Okay, just a quick test to see if you can hear me. Come on. Okay, just a quick test to see if you can hear me. And what's interesting about this, it actually sounds like I don't know if they're responding to me or if they're having a conversation, if this is two entities. Well, it sounds There's like two, two different, different voices, voices yeah. doesn't it? <coughs> That's absolutely fascinating. It's very exciting. Brilliant. I can't wait to Right, I, I, I would really like to turn all the lights off in the building now. Can I just say to everybody, please be very, very careful. Watch your back. I'm telling you now, stuff's going to happen. Can I watch your back? No. <laughs> With all the lights off, the old hall had taken on a very sinister atmosphere. It was decided that Leah and I would be the first to go it alone in the house. Eamon had very kindly left the EVP device switched on to hopefully record any disembodied voices that may try to communicate with us. I wasn't sure we'd even make it to the front door. Me and Leah walking over to the um, old hall on our own. Let's see how far we can go. Uh, yeah, this is not good. Nope. Uh, when you see it looming there, look, look, in the dark. Like, hang on, I can't actually see anything at the minute. Hang on a minute. Wait, 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 what's the matter? What? Right, okay. I just think we need to be careful on our own. I'm a little bit scared actually doing this. Come on, let's see how far we... If we're not we... comfortable, then we can stop, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Let's just get up to the door, right? So if we don't like it, we can run away. Yeah. There's the door. EVP. It's going mental, Oliver. Go on, let's see how far we can go. I don't think I can do this. Keeps catching me back. I really don't think I can. <gasps> don't leave! Get out! Don't, 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 don't leave me! Don't leave me! Just go I'm not leave me. I'm not going to leave you. Just leave because I'll fall. I can't do that. That is going mental. You get that really loud one. The EVP is just going nuts. It's like, it's like you can hear 
hear voices? <laughs> yeah, right, we're going in the haunted house. Great idea, Carl. No. I'm not sure I can do it with that. Yeah, come on. Let's just see where, if we can... Where are you going to go? In, actually, inside. Like, look at my whole body, physically shaking. Are you actually going to go in the door? Well, I think... I think we've got to... I think we've got to give it a try, really. My whole body is trembling. Hello? Hello? Right, I don't like it. Don't, Yvette, no, I don't won't leave you. No, I won't leave I you. you no, I tell you why. <laughs> Wait, no, no. no. I'll tell you why. So I'll tell you why. I freaked out. Because the EVP, when I went hello, it just completely stopped. Exactly. Right, let's make our way back. This is not safe to be. That is... With Leah and I having nerves of steel, we thought it only right for us to pass the buck to Carl. We were sure he would at least get inside the building. Well, I've decided to come down to the house on my own, which probably isn't the best thing to do, because it is quite a scary place. Even the door kind of is quite ominous. Um, it's just stupid, I've just got to get in here. Everyone else is right over there, right in the distance. The EVP's been going. Lots of things have happened already. And there's the door. Quiet. It's so quiet. Is anyone here? I'm not afraid of you. Well, yeah, but just don't let on. Can you show yourself to me? Show yourself to me, make a noise, make a sound. I have to say, the... <laughs> the bang. I'm just turning the infrared back on. Okay. Hello? The one thing I can't explain is how quiet it is here and how scared I actually am at this present moment in time. You kind of almost, you don't know what's around any corner. Where the Archie, the, whatever his name was, the, Dummies over there. I was taking the Mickey out of her. What was that? Hello? Is anyone here? Show yourself to me. I don't mean you any harm. Whoa! I didn't even know where that came from. What was it? Hello? Movement, there's movement in that room. There's movement in this room now. I, I can't move too quickly because I can see the door, so no one can. There's only 
this door. Oh! Hello? That was in this room. There is no one in this room. You can see that. There's the door, and that's not been opened. I'm standing at this door, and every single one of you at home heard that bang. And that bang came right from in this room. Are you here? Oh, noising, no, there's a, a noising, there's a bang. Hello? It's a really nasty feeling in here now, really nasty. Can you hear those bangs? Do you mean us any harm? One foot yes, twice for no. Make a sound, move something. What's that? Oh, right. Oh, I can't get the light on properly. There we go. That's infrared. What you can see. I can't see any more than that. That just gives the infrared. Oh. What was that? Off. It's too bright, close up. Um, right, I know this sounds really bad. I cannot tell you the fear I've got in me at this present moment. I'm going to go back in the crew room. I can't see anything. That was just too much. With safety in numbers, we decided to stick together for a while and try to communicate with the entity that was certainly not shy. Can you tap? Hello? There you go. That's from the wall. It's always in this room. That's right by you, Greg. That sounds more like footsteps, doesn't it? Hello? Is John Edgerton here? The person who's very violent, the person who doesn't like women, are you here? Okay, am I speaking to that person now? Am I speaking to that person now? Oh, you, you want to play games? Were you a gamekeeper here? Why are you so violent? Are you the person responsible for strangling people? Yes. Yes. Okay. Constant knocking, constant bang, 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 bang. Ten. Mm. Ten bangs. So why? Why do you like to do this? Why? Did you, did you murder somebody? No. Yes. I'll ask that question again. Can you make the answer clear? Did you murder somebody? Did you want to murder someone? I'll ask the question again. Two for yes, one for no. Did you murder someone? Yeah, it's playing games. I'm getting a cold breeze all around the back of my head. Are you? Yes. And, and I think we should split up in a bit. I'd like to try the rest of down here it's, first. It's still knocking crazy. Yeah, keep going because yeah. in the, my past experience, the knocking is really loud throughout the whole of this ground floor. Beat. 
is a heartbeat. Throw this knife. Down where? The where are you from? Did you hear that? Did you hear yeah, it? Did you hear it? Oh, I yes! Heard it. Right I heard there! The that was, was a. It? it was a. Yeah. Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? Throw it down the corridor. Okay. Hold on. <gasps> it's right <laughs> there! <laughs> I'm not joking! Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Did that not just bounce? No, this wall? is not safe! Where is it? Can you I see? I threw it down there! Where is it? Where is it? I don't... I don't know. What, what, what? I can't even see it. Have you got a torch? Oh, it's a spoon! Oh, yeah, it's a spoon! It's not even a knife! That's an old spoon. I threw it at the same time, freaking. That's bizarre. That's brilliant. Right, Can we try it again? again? Do it again. Do it again. Can I throw one? Throw that back. Throw that I've back. I've got a fork. No, throw the spoon back. Why is it? Listen. No, that was that was. That was the spoon. No, 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 no. Oh. I didn't hear that. Didn't I'm hear putting that. that on the side. Right, what are we doing first? Right, throw something else. Point. Throw something else. Throw the spoon back. We don't want that spoon. It's old. What, what are you doing down there? Throw it down the corridor. Throw it down the corridor. Right. Go on, throw it down. Whoa. What the hell? What's coming back now? Oh, I don't oh. think that came back. I no. think that's just banks and landed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. 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 You didn't see it. Oh, oh, oh I've, God. Yvette, Yvette, I've got it. I've got whatever it was Leah threw on camera landing in the corner over there in those jugs. And that literally landed on the floor. Great. Look at the size of it. It's, um, it's, a, it's a what's it for, isn't it? Yeah. It's one of those posh forks. Let's keep the energy yes. going, guys. Right, 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 right. Okay. I'm going to put this back on there. Yeah, you put it on there, Carl. This is amazing. Right, go. Right. Throw it back. Where are we going? I've got, I've got this. I've got this fork. Oh okay. I'm going to. I'm going to throw it down the carriage. Okay. Right. Are you ready? Right. Okay. Throw it. Can you see where it landed? Nothing yeah, I can see where it's landed, just on the other side of the door. Nothing came back? No. Typical. I'll actually zoom in. That's because you're all concentrating on it now. Turn, come back, turn around. See it there? Yeah, there it Guys, is. listen to me. Listen to me, Stewie. Just concentrate, just try something else. Just Here's the little fork again. Let's just, you know, we're talking, this is what, how it works, okay? And then, watch <coughs> out, come forward. Right, okay, throw it back. Right, and then we just carry on now. Let's just carry on, and then something might come back. Okay. So I've got a bunch of Raymond. How are you feeling, Raymond? Yeah, all right. A bit, a bit raw now, actually. So I think we should do now. Mm -hmm. I think, how do you fancy, Eamon? I don't even know why I'm suggesting this. Do you fancy going in the cellar, Eamon? <laughs> With me? I'll tell you what, we'll go in and um, we'll do an e I think we should do an EVP in there as well and see if we can pick up anything. Whilst Eamon, Leah, Greg and myself stayed deep in the cellar, Carl and Stuart took a floor each. With all the doors locked, everyone accounted for, we now had every floor covered. You gotta shut the door. Right, that's closed now. You okay? Tell you what, I'll go off on my own now. And I'll go here. upstairs. You go upstairs, I'll do downstairs. Right, okay, if you need me, shout. Yeah, oh, I'll bite keep, keep your phone on as well. Well, yeah. you'll, you'll hear me if I shout anyway. Right. Okay. Okay, well, you go off. Uh, I can't see anything, it's so cold in here. <sighs> this place freaks me out. It really, in the daytime, it's fantastic, but at night, it just has a different feel. And around every corner, you kind of expect to see something you don't really want to see, which is a bit of an oxymoron, really, because that's exactly what we're here to see. I'm scared of seeing what I've come to see. My name's Yvette. Say my name's Leah. My name's Leah. My name's Eamon. My name's Greg. Please yeah. let us know if you're there. Girl. Getting into it. She's taking over now. She is. Oh, the battery's going on, lads. 
laptops already. Why? Yeah. Should we try a bit on your laptop before it all goes? Yeah. When we were filming upstairs earlier on. That's she's a drain. In I don't the, know, um, they've been on charge. Of yeah. Once. When we were filming in the spinning room, camera turned itself off halfway it through the interview. No reason. Uh, and Darren's battery ran out, which was freshly charged and normally lasts three days. Oh, oh, so don't be in the least bit surprised if your batteries yeah. go down quick. So, okay. Is there anybody here? Ah! I can just, just about hear Stuart. Yeah, he's... I think, I think he just shouted. No, he's not shouting for me. <sighs> right, okay. That went right by, right by me, that. What's that there? Who was that? Hello? Is there anybody down here with me now? What's Carl doing? Oh, there is. I'm wanting to, I hear I'm wanting to something. Let's have a look. I'll amplify that. This will be good going over it. That's nice as well to listen yeah. to it. He's wanting to be with me. Oh, Sounds like I, I'm wanting to be with you. Yeah. <gasps> Is Tom there? I am wanting to be with you. Okay, that's interesting. <gasps> Is Tom there? I am wanting to be with you. Okay, that's interesting. Is Tom there? I am wanting to be with you. That's great. That's really good. That's amazing. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's do. Um, so, so who is Tom? What? What's um? Uh, I do. It will save up this. Why yeah. does he want to be with us? Well, I think he's going to join us in here. To be honest. I've just heard like a whining sound. Whatever it was, whizzed by me. Literally, I could feel the, the draft on my ear. And I've just heard a whine now. And through here, I've just heard some kind of bang, almost like a wooden effect. If there's anything in this room with us now, please show yourself. My name's Stuart. How many spirits are in here with us? Please make yourself be known. We know there are spirits with us in here now because we heard you talking earlier on. Oh, crap. Hello? That. Oh. That's in here. That's down the corridor. Hello? Right, come on, BT. Do you need my help? Crying out loud. Oh. Oh. Okay. Right. I've just heard sounded like a door or something. What the f is that? Look, look at that. Right, there's a chair there. I have not put that chair there. I did not move that. Who's put the chair there? Can you come forward? Poltergeist activity. And then I'll 
amplify this because it gives an answer here. There's a waveform. And then let's just listen to that whole question again and see what it sounds like. Because I hope it's not what I think it is. I hope it's not a yes. But I think it might be. Let's have a listen. <gasps> that was yes, clear oh. as day. So Tom is the nasty <sighs> Basically, yeah. You want to strangle people? That was yes, clear oh. as day. You want to strangle people? You want to strangle people? That was yes, clear oh. as day. So Tom is the nasty. Basically, yeah. Yeah. I was hoping, I really, I was hoping it wasn't him, but... Well, Tom. You want to hurt me? Is that why you're throwing things? What do you want to do? Oh! Right, you probably saw that yourself. There's the chair. That chair's moved. You probably caught that on camera. I'm going to have to go in a second because there's no way. There's absolutely no way I'm going to stick it here any longer. That chair has been pushed over. You heard that yourself. Something put that chair there. I didn't do it. You saw it yourself. Now it's been pushed or kicked over by something. to go. That's in my hair. Footsteps. Look, it's not down there. I'm putting the camera in there, it's out here. I'm putting the camera out here, it's in there. God, it's like it's coming from the walls. Hello? You know, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna. I'm gonna call this one because I'm, I'm getting a bit freaked out, to be honest. My, uh, by the way, it's gone fully charged. It's drained the battery. How bizarre is that? My heartbeat is my heart is going. We've had a heart monitor on now. That's unbelievable. Honestly, that is a, that is a really good. They're really good EVPs to confirm. Right. I think we should make call it call it. Let's call it. Hello. Hello. Ah! Tatton Hall will always be one of my favourite locations to investigate. It truly is a haunted building that, in my opinion, is up there with some of the most terrifying in the world. It never fails to deliver, and tonight was no exception. Do you remember me? You do? Shh. What was that? Whatever it was, came from nowhere. Don't leave! Get out! Don't leave! Don't leave! Don't leave! Don't leave! Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't That's what was either thrown or fell, but... Hello? <gasps> There's only... This door. Oh! <gasps> 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 Yes, clear as day. Where are you from? Did you hear that? Did you hear yeah, it? Did you hear it? Oh, yes. I heard it. Right I heard there. The <laughs> Until next time, sleep tight. Leave a message as you go. Find the moment.